Good evening. My name is Rishi Sarkar, and I am a rising senior at River Hill High School. I am Vivek Mamlapali. I am a rising senior at River Hill High School as well. And I am Ethan Vanilt, also a rising senior at River Hill High School. Today, we will be presenting a detailed proposal of our NeuroMaker BCI solution. Despite the transformative nature of assistive technology, to this day, driving remains an issue for those with attentive disorders such as ADHD. Adults with ADHD are 1.81 times more likely to get involved in a car crash. What's worse, this problem is further exacerbated with adolescent drivers. As seen in the following graphs, drivers with ADHD are more likely to commit moving violations and get into car crashes in their initial months after licensure. To refocus distracted drivers back onto the road, we, Team River Hill, applied concepts of haptic neuroplasticity and their relation to attentiveness to build a solution to improve the lives of drivers with ADHD using the NeuroMaker BCI. NeuroMaker BCI records raw EEG waves and filters out noise and other discrepancies to produce an attention index. This index is able to evaluate how much attention the user is paying at a given time. Through extensive research, we also found that haptic feedback a form of vibration-based sensory stimulation, is often linked with neuroplasticity and neurological training and development. In a 2020 study by Ritter and her colleagues, it stated that improving attention and engagement in populations suffering from TBI through haptic force feedback showed statistically significant improvement compared to those without haptic feedback. Using these findings, our team set out to create an assistive technology capable of refocusing ADHD drivers back onto the road through haptic feedback. First, we designed a series of experiments to figure out the ranges pertinent to focused and unfocused driving. As with any experimental design, hypotheses, sample size, randomization, replication, and proper methodology was established and taken into account to yield acceptable data. To start off, we gathered a group of 10 adults from ages 18 to 22. Then we randomly assigned these adults either of two treatments, focused or unfocused driving, through drawing lots out of a hat, with each treatment group having five adults allocated to them. For unfocused driving, it was achieved through having a subject multitask. While driving, the said subject would be engaging in a conversation, attempting to write on a sticky note, or interacting with their phone, which would affect their attention and productivity. Afterwards, we had the adults drive up and down a neighborhood while we measured their raw EEG waves. As stated before, the NeuroMaker BCI is capable of recording raw EEG waves and filtering out noise and other discrepancies to produce an attention index. Hence, through recording their raw EEG waves, we were able to determine what values on an attention index correlated to focused and unfocused driving respectively. We then repeated this process an additional two times for the sake of replication. After analyzing our results, we found that on average, any value be below 45 on the attention index could be considered distracted or unfocused driving. Next, we employed a Raspberry Pi as our medium because it provided a simple interface in which we could import and process the BCI data in order to determine whether the driver was distracted or unfocused. By default, the data gathered by the NeuroMaker BCI is stored in an Excel spreadsheet. Using the Pandas package, we are able to extract the data and reassign it into a Python data frame. From here, the code intermittently verifies that the driver has remained above the aforementioned 45 attention range. If this condition is not met for more than 5 seconds, a signal is sent to the GPI opens that activate a small vibrational motor that provides haptic feedback to the user. We will now conduct a short demonstration of our product in action. The impaired driver will get in the car, wear the BCI, then begin to drive. If the driver's attention wavers for an extended period of time, as seen in the video, the driver will be given haptic feedback. Although we used a small LED light in the video to make the scene easier to visualize, in reality, our solution uses a small haptic motor to refocus the driver back onto the road. Though this product, in theory, will be able to improve functional capabilities of drivers with ADHD, there are still some limitations that need to be addressed. For example, the thresholds for the attention index may need to be adjusted for each individual, and our tests may have been flawed since we do not have access to willing ADHD participants. Furthermore, we are unable to currently gather live data, which creates a significant delay between the user and the signal. Lastly, the system isn't space effective, further simplification is required. In the future, we hope to fine-tune our product through additional testing and potentially modifying the software of the BCI in order to make sure the product more accurate. We also plan to further simplify the solution to warrant further visibility in terms of accessibility and cost. 
If made into a publicly available and viable product, hypothetically, this solution would be able to refocus nearly 600,000 ADHD drivers back onto the road and significantly reduce the risk of moving violations and car crashes. If our solution is broadened to all of the driving population, then nearly 10 to 15% of car crashes could be avoided, saving nearly $80 billion annually. Throughout this competition, we learned how the NeuroMaker BCI could be used and manipulated to help people with disabilities. Aside from optimizing daily tasks for people with attentive disorders, we believe similar concepts can be applied in alternative scenarios as well. For example, in one of our initial brainstorms, we proposed the NeuroMaker BCI could be used to help people with physical disabilities in simple daily tasks, like turning on a light switch. We hope you all enjoyed our presentation. Thank you for your time.